Today we're going to be making this delicious banana pudding as per the famous recipe shared by Magnolia Bakery. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. So we're gonna start by adding one can of sweetened condensed milk to a bowl, and that's approximately 14 ounces. And now to that, we're gonna add one and a half cup of ice cold water. Now we're gonna go in with our mixer and blend this together. If you wanted, you could just go in with a hand whisk. Now, if you wanted to make this pudding a little bit more rich, you could always go in with milk instead of water. And now they've said to add one packet of vanilla pudding powder and they've specified the Jello brand. So we're going to add that in. And this is approximately 102 grams. And now once again we're going to go in with our hand mixer and blend it all together. It's already seeming to thicken a little bit. And now they said that once it's all well blended, you can stop mixing it. Now we're going to cover this up with a plastic wrap and put it into the refrigerator to set for about one hour or overnight if you want. The pudding has set, so now let's whip up the heavy cream and combine the two together. To the bowl of our stand mixer, we're gonna pour in three cups of heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna put on our whisk attachment. And now we're gonna whisk it till we get stiff peaks. And now that we've reached the stiff peak stage, we're gonna start incorporating the pudding into it. Now with our mix on a low speed, we're gonna start adding the pudding in small batches into the cream, and we're gonna whip it till it gets well incorporated. And now that it's all well incorporated, we're gonna start layering our pudding. In a nine by 13 inch tray, we're gonna start by putting a thin layer of the cream and pudding mix. And now we're going to go in with one box of vanilla wafers, which are approximately 312 grams. And these are vanilla flavored wafers. So we're just going to put a layer down and don't really have to arrange them. You can just scatter them around the place. You could always substitute with any vanilla flavored wafers, ladyfinger biscuits, or if you had any vanilla sponge cake handy, that would work well too. And now we're going to start adding in sliced banana coins. Once again, you don't have to worry about how it gets arranged. You just want a layer of the bananas. Now we've got a nice layer of the bananas down and I've used three bananas for that. Now we're going to top it with one more layer of the cream and pudding mix. I'm just going to flatten that out and spread it across with our offset spatula. Well, I can already tell how delicious this is going to be. And now it's time to layer it with another layer of the vanilla wafers. And now we're going to put another layer of the bananas. And now we're adding the third banana. So all together we have sliced six bananas. And we're going to finish it off with a layer of the whipped cream and pudding mix. This is such an easy dessert to put together and it feeds a crowd. So it's an ideal dessert to make when you have a big gathering. Now once again, let's go in with our offset spatula and even out the layer. Make sure that you get it into every nook and cranny. You want a nice layer on the top. So now we're gonna give it a few taps and this is gonna help the pudding to go right through. This is a great make ahead dessert because now you gotta refrigerate it for at least four to five hours or overnight for best results because the cookies have to soften and absorb all that delicious flavor and it's going to become one happy family. And when you're ready to serve it, decorate it with some sliced bananas and some vanilla wafers. And this is how they serve it. Just give it a good mix. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give our banana pudding a taste. Wow, oh my gosh. Mmm! You are going to go bananas eating this pudding. It is so delicious. 
I'm sure you're going to want to give this recipe a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.